Okay, folks. So uh, I think we can start uh, the meet, the own co uh, community meeting for today, and we do have an important agenda, at least in the uh, meeting documentation. Uh, that is, we'll try to finalize the uh, design of own spec uh, v three zero. Uh, I think it's pretty close. Uh, we have reached most of the uh, conclusions in the GitHub issue. So if you can uh, open that link and check the status. It's almost there. And uh, the, the next action item will include uh, several things. Uh, I will try to share my, share my screen uh, to talk about that. Right, so according to uh, the current status in this issue. So we have finalized the most detailed design uh, in, the, uh, in the object we want to include in the own spec, including component definition, workload definition, application, trace definition, and the application scope will be non-changed. So it will be leave, will be leave over there just as it, it is in uh, previous release. And uh, we also shipped uh, a several features uh, in this space in, in this version, uh, including support about uh, different ways to do templating the parametering. Uh, note that the original way, like a raw Kubernetes resource template, are still supported, uh, and as well as other approaches like queue and help. And the workload definition is basically non changed. Uh, for application, it's actually a uh, upgrade version of application configuration. And uh, we recently uh, shipped, shipped, and recently shipped a change to make all the fields be consistent uh, by using type and properties. And we also support um, reference component definition uh, from different namespace. So you can store your component definition in different uh, in system namespace or other namespace and, namespace and reference it here. And in implementation, we also guarantee that all trades definitions can apply to Thank any you. kind of... I'm doing great. We a great day. Someone mute. So we also, in invitation, we, we, we already make sure that all the trace implementations can work with any component definition, regardless if it's designed by using role templates, queue or help. So any kind of uh, approaches will work. So this is basically what we have uh, for now. And uh, the only remaining task I see is that uh, another maintainer proposed that we need to upgrade the API version of the object to v1 bit one. So that means we will not change it um, significantly in the future releases. Does that make sense to all? Which I think this makes sense to me. Uh, what do you think, Kevin? Yeah, I think that's probably right. I mean, I don't, I don't know how concretely we can say it won't change significantly in the future, but we can hope, right? Okay, then we will promote the API version in that in that way. Uh, so this is basically what we have uh, in this release. Um, the next action item is that we will we will begin to uh, ship the specification documentation based on the existing working draft. Um, so for now, we already have something written over there, but obviously then all need to be updated. So uh, I, I will try to uh, split several tasks uh, of the uh, specification draft based on the uh, structure of the existing documentation and then create multiple um, action item issue to track in the progress of every uh, part, uh, every part of the specification. Uh, so that is the plan. Um, 
I, I have already got response from Kevin and Daniel who will be uh, involved in drafting the uh, specific specification doc. So if anyone uh, also try to help, uh, please just, uh, I think, please just follow up uh, in, the, um, in the task issue, which will be credited today. Okay, so do we have any other uh, discussions before we begin to draft the spec documentation? Okay, if we, if you are all good here, uh, I will kick off the, um, the 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 draft of the documentation today, and then I will. I will send it to the uh, mailing list, Slack, uh, as well as uh, the the Gitter, uh, to let folks know uh, that the new spec is under drafting. And then uh, I will expect we can finish this uh, in next one or two months, uh, one or two weeks. Sure. And uh, at the meantime, and we also have already uh, finished most of the code in the um, Kubevela implementation. Uh, which supports the uh, latest design of the own spec. And uh, it's, it's pretty close to finalize everything. Uh, I think the remaining tasks are handling the scopes as is. And the new object has, al has already been shipped. And uh, there are also some remaining tasks like uh, the upgrade documentation from previous release to this release, uh, which will be also included in the next few weeks. Uh, this is the uh, this is an ongoing effort happening in the implementation side. And we will also start to donate the whole project, including own spec, as well as in this always implementation effort to CNCF to make sure that uh, everything is hosted in a neutral foundation. Uh, that will be the expected timeline is May, early in May. Uh, so that, we, that, that part work will be finished during that time. Okay, so this is the upgrade, uh, update from uh, the whole uh, um, community engineering effort. Uh, any any question regarding that part? Sure, uh, since we are all good only progress here. Um, in that sense, we do not have a specific topic to discuss uh, for now. So not sure if anyone has other topics want to bring to the table to raise discussion or has some new design or you have some ideas on what we should do uh, in next releases. Um, we, 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 I think we can also discuss that part in this meeting. Not from our side, really. Okay, cool. Uh, Daniel, do you have any update regarding on your uh, native uh, platform? Yeah, well, uh, we basically launched the, the beta, so everybody yes. is welcome to, to join and try. Uh, we will be releasing an ingress trade next week. Um, yeah, we continue working on, on that. Pretty cool. And I'm wondering, uh, how do you how did you implement the ingress thread? It's it's based on the nginx ingress, or you have your own plugin? Uh, we base the ingress on on nginx. We are using okay. an ingress uh, nginx ingresses under the hood, but we have implemented our own trade because there are some differences to what were available. Yeah, is it totally reasonable? Uh, so, so in that case, your your user need to ensure that the nginx ingress is enabled in their Kubernetes cluster, right? Yeah, I mean our main difference is that we are more working in a multi-tenant environment with user mm -hmm. quotas and restrictions like that. So okay. that's also part of the reason why we are implementing our own. Mm -hmm. But we plan to to open source it. So. It will be it will be available also for the community to use. That would be really appreciated. Uh, we have a own catalog to host uh, the uh, implementations or uh, controllers of trade if you have. And in that case, uh, any any folks who is uh, building a own platform can install the 
the trade definitions from the catalog by providing the URL, and then everything will be done. Re re really, really be exciting to see what you can uh, work, work on that. Yeah, sure. Uh, I mean, uh, we are finishing up the last stages of the trade. And as I said, we will be putting in the available on the playground, on the native playground mm -hmm. next week. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I will also add uh, a link to the document in case anyone want an invitation for to try it. So, uh, yeah, that's the, the, the news from us. Got it. That's be really appreciated. Okay, so uh, any other topics you want to raise today? Uh, Ren, do you have any update? Um, not much. Uh, we are working on a uh, Kubi Veda 1.0, and uh, I think we just released the 1.0. And but uh, um, there are still plenty of work to do to stabilize and to enhance the features. Okay. Sure. Um, so in, in the in the future releases of the uh, of the Kubevela, I believe that the full uh, um, specification will be supported. Uh, I mean, the latest specification. And I will also assume that um, there are some a couple of uh, I will say advanced features available there, like rollout, uh, like uh, a first version of a cross environment application deployment. So uh, I will be very exciting to see how how, how how all of those features can be used. Those are all documented in, in the Kubevela project? Uh, you mean what? You mean? So, so they're outside the spec, so they're documented specifically in Kubevela, correct? Uh, correct. For now, it's actually, but you can think of it's a trait, actually. Uh, but we're now missing a concept, which is global trade, as we discussed before. So as long as we have this concept, then rollout can it, 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 it rollout itself is actually global trade. So right now we don't we do not describe model it as a scope because it's a different concept, even though it can work. So, so right now it's a independent controller. You can think of that like that. Oh, I see. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So. So most of the features in Kubevela, they are either component or traits. Uh, so they can just be, that's why we actually can integrate those features in a, the uh, Kubevela because uh, it's naturally, it's, it, it's a naturally uh, way to you know, implement features. Uh, that's why I think in next release of spec, we should uh, discuss uh, how to model global trait. I think it's straightforward. It just uh, add a new concept give it a name and then you reuse the existing way to implement a trade and everything should work. Yeah, I, I assume you mean like application it's a scope, not not global global, right? So application scope can well, be modified to do that, but the yeah. concept is kind of weird. Well, I think I need to be more specific. So, because uh, it's currently an application scope, I mean, a, a, a trait that applies to an application, not a trait that applies to everything. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right. Right. That is the concept we need because you can think rollout should be applied to the application instead of choose component. Yep. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm all for doing that next. Yeah. That that that, will, that should be the um, uh, next important things we want we want to design in next release of spec. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, so I think that's all uh, we have updated uh, that we can update in the committee part. And uh, so let me, uh, as, as I just mentioned, then we will move to finalize and uh, draft the old spec documentation and, and looking forward to contributions from the community members. Um, I will kick off the whole thing by drafting a, a few of, by drafting a, a, a bunch of, uh, I will say task checking issues in the um, spec repo, uh, just like uh, we did before. Okay, so um, are we just going to are mm -hmm. we just going to grab those first come first serve, or, or is it going to be a little more any more level of coordination? Uh, I think we may need some coordination before starting the uh, 
the uh, the the real work. So I think the, the next thing is I create an issue, and uh, anyone want to contribute can claim. Okay, I want to work on maybe this part, that part, and then we I think we need to set up a coordinating uh, meeting, uh, maybe this week. Uh, I mean, as as soon as possible, and then we begin to uh, work on the, the 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 real tasks. Okay. Cool. Okay, so this is pretty much what we have today. Um, very nice to see you uh, in next meeting and uh, looking forward to all the uh, contributions and uh, effort on the own spec documentation side. Okay, see you next time. All right. Yeah. See you. Thank you. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.